Amphiba tigris sulevensis, better known as the Nagandong tiger, is an extinct subspecies of tiger that lived during the Pleistocene. It lived in the Sundaland region of Indonesia during the Pleistocene epoch. The fossil remains of this big cat are primarily found in the village of Nagandong, hence its name. However, only seven fossils of this tiger are known, making the study of the animal difficult. It is also known by other names, such as the Pleistocene tiger, cave tiger, or giant tiger. Some fossil remains of this big cat suggest that it was a giant among tigers, and cats overall. On average, it was similar in size to the largest modern tiger species, such as the Bengal and Siberian tigers. This cat measured up to 12 feet from head to tail, and stood a shoulder height of over 120 centimeters, or 4 feet tall. A 2016 study estimated the average weight to be anywhere between 184 to 298 kilograms, or 408 to 656 pounds being similar in weight to large Siberian tigers. A large male in Gandong tiger may have weighed over 400 kilos or 880 pounds, making it even heavier than any living tiger. It is estimated that the maximum weight would be anywhere between 360 to 490 kilograms or 790 to 1050 pounds, being similar in weight to an average adult polar bear. If this is the case, this would make it not only the largest tiger ever, but among the largest cats that's ever lived. Only the American lion and the South American saber-toothed cat, Smilodon populator, being either similar or larger in terms of size and weight. Another prehistoric cat similar in size and weight range was the Musbatch lion, also known as Panthera fossilis, which could weigh over 400 kilograms or 880 pounds. The reason for the massive size of the Nagandong tiger was likely due to competition with the giant hyena, Pachycocuta, which was similar in size to a lion. Other large predators, such as bears and saber-toothed cats, may have also posed as competition for the tiger. The Nagandong tiger was also incredibly strong, being one of the strongest cats that's ever lived. The bite force of this cat probably exceeded mon tigers at up to 1,300 psi, giving it a bite force almost as strong as a jaguar which has the strongest bite of any living cat. Armed with a powerful bite and razor-sharp claws, this cat would be able to take down large and moderate-sized prey animals, which would have included animals such as deer, wild boar, and water buffalo, and possibly even larger prey. Like modern tigers, this animal likely had a striped coat, which would have aided in camouflage in forested and bushy habitats. The Nagandong tiger was potentially quite fast, like modern-day tigers, running anywhere between 30 and 40 miles per hour. It was likely also a powerful swimmer, sometimes chasing prey in the water to slow them down, a tactic seen in modern-day tigers. Basically, it had everything a tiger had, just on a slightly larger scale. The Nagandong tiger wasn't the only prehistoric tiger. Other prehistoric subspecies, such as the Vanassian tiger and Twinel tiger, also existed at around the same time, with the Vanassian tiger in particular having a max weight of 350 kilograms, or 770 pounds. Though smaller than the Nagandong tiger, it was still larger than most living tigers today. The Twinol tiger, however, was smaller, weighing up to 150 kilograms, or 330 pounds. Being similar in size and weight to Malayan and Sumatran tigers, the smallest tigers we have today. The habitat of the Nagandong tiger likely consisted of jungles, rainforest, tall open grasslands, and woodland. It would have shared its habitat with other wildlife like Perbocidians, which would have included Stegodon, an extinct genus known for its ridiculously long tusks, and the Blower elephant, an extinct species of Asian elephant. It also lived alongside and preyed upon buffaloes of the genus Bubalus, as well as the Malayan tapir and the Javan rhino. Various species of deer were present, with many falling prey for the tiger. Other carnivores, such as big cats and canines, like the doll or Asian wild dog, were also present. Just imagine a pack of doll or Asian wild dogs competing with the giant tiger over food and territory. Just like modern tigers and dolls do today. A species of human, known as the solar man, which is a subspecies of Homo erectus, also lived alongside and possibly competed with the oversized kitty.
The Nagandan tiger went extinct sometime during the late Pleistocene, possibly around 100,000 years ago. Some studies suggest that they lived as recently as 50,000 years ago. The extinction of the Nagandan tiger was likely due to a variety of different factors, such as habitat loss and the extinction of some of its prey species. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, you can leave a like. If you like what you see, you can subscribe to this channel if you want. Stay blessed and I'll see you later.